Welcome back to programminginpython.com. Here in this video, I am going to tell you how to print the pattern of letter S. In the previous videos, I have told you how to print the patterns up to letter R. I have link all those videos playlist in the description and also in the comment box. I will pin that a uh, playlist in the comment box and also I will put that in the I button in the right corner of this video. So make sure you click that I button for all the previous videos up to letter R. So now let's discuss on letter S. So guys, this is the pattern of letter S I am going to print. So uh, let us give the sizes here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here is a 6 by 6. Oh, actually I missed one. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's okay. Actually, it should be a 6 by 6 while uh, while uh, actually executing this program, when I take the size 6, it will automatically form into 6 by 6 matrix. But for now, when I'm drawing this, I, I missed uh, a one more uh, column at that side. That's okay, fine. So we'll print this pattern now. Let's see. Everything is up here. We can print uh, first column, last column, first row, I mean first row, last row, middle row. Everything is printed in all the corners, but in the first column and last column we will print half. In first column we will print first half and in the last column we will print last half. And if you see the rows, first row, middle row and last row. So there will be six conditions. First I will write the condition for first row. If R equal to equal to zero, that means first row. If R equal to equal to zero and here the column should not be equal to one because I have excluded this uh, part here and column not equal to zero so row equal to zero column not equal to zero so this is completed this first uh, row is completed and next i'll uh, uh, go for middle row and last row if row equal to equal to s by two that is middle row and also here the column should not be equal to zero and column should not be equal to zero to exclude this so now this is also completed I'll go for the last row R equal to equal to S minus 1 that is the last row and here the column should not be equal to S minus 1 that is the last column and so these are the three conditions R equal to 0 for first row R equal to S by 2 for middle row R equal to S minus 1 for last row and these conditions are to exclude this space this space and this space so these three lines are completed. So now I'll write this first column. If C equal to equal to zero, that means the first column. And here the row should be greater than half. So R greater than S by two. So that's how we, that's how we can print this. Actually, if we say R greater than S by two, we can't even print star here. So it will only print column up to here. If it's greater than after greater than S by 2, it will exclude. Similarly, for this case also. So, hope you understood. Column will be equal to 0 and R should be greater than S by 2. I mean, R should be less than S by 2. Only less than S by 2 it will print. If it's greater than, it will uh, not go into the condition and it will ex exclude. And similarly, here, uh, column equal to equal to S minus 1, that is last column. And here, column should be, uh, row should be greater than S by 2. Here, just the reverse. Here it should be less than half, that means the upper half. Here it should be greater than half, that means the lower half. So those are the conditions for all these uh, lines. There are five lines here, row zero, middle row, last row, first column and last column, but the other half, inverse half. So th these are the conditions for first row, middle row, last row, first column, half, last column, half. So in all these cases, we'll print uh, stars, until they should be or 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 so in all these cases i'll print uh, so in all these cases i'll print stars uh, and i gave here and as uh, empty because if we don't give and as empty by default print takes and as new line so to avoid that i have given and as empty and in else condition I'll print spaces
So I have print conditions for printing starts and all other cases I'll print spaces. So all this will be filled with spaces. And after executing this first iteration, it should continue with second iteration, third iteration, fourth iteration. For that case, I'll print this empty empty print after this first fur. So after this fur, I'll print empty print so that it go to the next line. So this one can print this pattern of letter S. So now I'll go into my PyCharm IDE, code the same program, execute it, see the output. So I'm in I'm in my PyCharm IDE guys. Here we are going to print this pattern of letter S, which I've just discussed on whiteboard. So as usual, I lost this size. I will ask this size from the user. I will ask enter a size. I will also cast this to integer and I will check a normal condition like if the size is only greater than, if the size is less than 8, I will, um, I will ask the users, uh, I will prompt the users to enter a number which is uh, greater than 8 minimum of 8 just this just because uh, uh, if, the, if the letter size of the letter is small uh, the letter might not look good uh, it's just for the output set to make the letter look good uh, it, it is not mandatory these conditions are not mandatory for printing this pattern here in else condition I'll print uh, a pattern this is the function in this function I'm going to print this pattern and I'm going to uh, pass this size here here in this so I'll create this here now and I'll say that parameter as n so now as I said we have two for loops so I'll write one for loop for rows for row in range of n for columns in range in range of n so here I need to write some conditions uh, where I can print this where I can print this stars and uh, spaces accordingly here I need to print stars in first row middle row last row this is the first column but up to half this is the last column but up to half so let some conditions I let starting with first row if uh, this is if here in if condition I'll print I'll print stars and I also give n because uh, if I don't give the n the it will print will go to the next line which we don't want we want to print this uh, same line after printing that star we want to keep in the same line and then after one iteration you have to go to the next line so for that reason I'll give n as uh, empty or space here n equal to and after this first for I need to print here it will go to the next line after the first iteration so let us write the conditions here so if uh, the first condition would be uh, I'm going to print this first row that means if row equal to equal to zero or if row equal to equal to n n by by two that is half or if row equal to equal to n minus one that is the last row so I have given conditions for first row last row I mean middle row and last row but here there are some conditions where we need to exclude a uh, star from here so I'll write if uh, row equal equal to zero and column should not be equal to zero that is the first column this is the first column row should be equal to zero and column should not be equal to zero similar condition for this one row should be equal to zero and column should not be equal to zero and here also we have excluded that so let me write the condition for this also so I've written all the conditions for rows now I write for columns in the first column but up to half this is the last column but from the second half this is the first half and this is the second half so I write for columns or column should be equal to equal to zero and the conditions for printing is row should be 
less than n by by 2 this is for this condition the column should be equal to 0 and row should be less than n by by 2 so that is the condition and here in all column should be equal to last column n minus 1 and here the row should be greater than n by by 2 that means the row should be greater than half so after after this it should print so uh, let us see what uh, the output with these conditions if you see the output i'll give a size of 9 you see uh, some things are missed here the star here is still printing and the star here is still printing except that everything looks fine so we need to recheck the conditions so uh, i also format this i will write the comments uh, where uh, each condition should uh, uh, where uh, where are the conditions for each uh, row or column so let me just format this so i have formatted this this is the first row uh, row equal equal to zero and column should not be equal to zero and uh, should also not equal to be n minus one the last one here also we skip the last uh, start here so that is one more condition i have added here and for the last row also similar conditions uh, row should be the last one and this column exclusion is the same and for the first column column is zero here row should not be equal to zero and should not be equal to the half here also in the at the half we have mixed it uh, this one and this one we have escaped so those are the two conditions for these two so that's it and for the last and, and for the last column row should not be equal to n minus one row should be greater than n by two so it should not be equal to last uh, last row and should be greater than n by two and finally for the middle row uh, row should be equal to half and uh, this column equal to zero should not be column should not be first column column should not be last column so in the middle row also we need to exclude this star here and this star here not only in this column we have excluding these rows but also in this column we are excluding the uh, stars because we have we will, we will be able to print if we we will print in any in either of the condition like if i give conditions while printing this first column like exclude this star and this star in the first column and if i don't give the conditions for uh, excluding that in this middle row uh, in this middle row also i give the same conditions that column should not be equal to zero and in also first row I have given this row should not be equal to n by 2 so I have to give conditions in both the cases otherwise it will print star in any one of the cases that what that's what happened in the previous case here so we need to take care of those those conditions as well so now, so now let us run this again and give size of 9 now you see we have a reasonable uh, size yes I will run again I will give size of 15 you see my screen is also not enough to show that 15 so this is the s for 15 so these are the conditions uh, these are the conditions like we print uh, first row middle row last row first column and last column with some conditions excluding the stars and uh, the half of this and and such conditions so this is how you print the pattern of letter s Hope you like the video guys. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my channel programminginpython.com. Also share these videos with your friends who might feel these videos helpful. I will also post the uh, GitHub link in the description and also the blog post in the description and also some other useful links. So make sure you are also looking at the description of this video. I will be continuing this pattern series up to letter Z. So stay tuned for all those patterns. See you in the next video. Bye bye.